Hi Cancer, welcome to your singles reading for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Whether you're new or returning, thank you and welcome back. Thank you to everybody for all your support that you give the channel in whatever way you do. Thank you so much for being a part of the channel's growth and helping me to get the messages out to the people that need to hear them and um, just being a part of that. And I just want to say thank you, thank you to everybody. It really does mean a lot to me and I really do love doing this for you guys and I also ask that you please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me how to book a personal reading my social media links decks I'm using tons of stuff there please do go check that out and thank you okay cancer singles for November let's see what we could possibly have coming into you singles happy fall happy November okay so this could be for Whenever you see this, tell whenever. There's no really, uh, I know it says November, but no real like time limit on it. So we'll see what we get for you singles. Cancer. All right, let's get a couple zodiac signs. A couple zodiac signs for Cancer incoming person spirit, please. For Cancer, thank you so much. Oh, we have Neptune, which is, let me see, Pisces. So a fellow possible water sign so Pisces and fire so fire just came out in the reading I just did so Leo Sag Aries or Pisces now keep in mind too that if whatever situation I read here whatever kind of person I read here um, if you're watching this and you're not single I don't know why you're watching it but if like just for the heck of it and you say gee I already uh, encountered that person I'm already with that person that can happen also so Please keep that in mind. All right, so we have four possible signs here. We have um, Leo Sag Aries, or we have Pisces, so four signs. All right, so Cancer. Let's see who this person is, who are they, what is their energy like for this possible, possible person coming into Cancer. Who is this person? What is their energy like? Firm foundation. Okay, so this is the Four of Pentacles energy. So this is somebody who is very solid, secure, stable, and grounded. Uh, they've done all the hard work to get where they are in life. They could be financially set. Uh, they have high moral and values. Um, they have a very firm foundation in all ways. So somebody very solid, secure, stable, financially set, very smart, smart with their money, their finances, just smart. I'm feeling somebody very male or female, doesn't matter, someone very, very strong, it's like solid like a rock, because you see that mountain up there also. So somebody very solid, stable, and secure kind of energy, very strong energy I'm getting. Wow, okay. So, and they could they could work in finances also. They could even own their own business or something like that. All right, so let's see like when, get like a time frame, uh, time of year or something like that. When could Cancer possibly meet this person spirit, please? Thank you so much. When, take that one. All right, so we have, I believe this is wand energy. So this is spring. So, and I know that seems like a long time away, but we have spring energy here. Wands represent spring. So springtime. All right, so could be the second day into spring, the second week into spring, the second month of spring, a date with uh, two in the date that you may meet them. Uh, Let's see, spring starts in, is it, uh, is it February or is it March? Let's see, summer starts in June, March, it starts in March, right? So, okay, so March, April, or May. March, April, May, June. Yeah, well, spring. <laughs> okay, so let's see where. So we got fertility here. So 
I'm getting this could spring. It could be like um, maybe you go to, I'm getting like um, like a botanical place. Like maybe you go to a, I don't want to say like a garden, but maybe you go somewhere. Um, it could be even shopping for plants or something like that, like at a nursery or something like that. And you meet this person there because this is the Empress energy. So that's all about very earthy energy. Also, it's also about nurturing things, uh, growing things, birth of new things. So you could actually be going to a nursery. Maybe you go to a different one that you've never been to before or you're passing by. And say, Oh, I'm going to stop at this nursery. I've never been there. Or maybe they are visiting a nursery you always go to. And that's how you run into this person. So I definitely feel like... Um, like you're shopping for plants or something like that or garden stuff. And that's how you meet this person. So you could be visiting like, um, I don't know, what do you call those places that it's like one big like garden and you just go look at the flowers and stuff. I don't know what you call that, but um, like a botanical place or I don't know. I'm not a garden expert, but somewhere it has to do with gardening, a nursery um, or something like that. Hmm, okay, so we got like the where, or maybe you could even be working in your garden outside, or maybe you hire someone to come do landscaping. You hire a new company, or you decide for this year, you know what, I think I'm going to hire someone to do my landscaping, and you know, something around that, uh, gardening or something like that. Okay, so how... So we got the where, it's sort of like the where, how. Wow, <laughs> look at the trees here. So maybe you hire someone to cut trees down. I don't know. Something here to do with gardening or landscaping or cutting trees down or buying trees um, or something like that. So yeah, I feel like you're going to meet this person uh, around that sort of energy. So Keep an open mind. Keep your eyes open. If you're out shopping for plants, trees, you hire somebody to come do some work for you. Maybe you've never done that before or something like that. I think you may meet this person. All right. So if you meet this person, they may be kind of quiet. Um... Maybe they own their own like um, landscaping business or tree service or something like that. Because I do have that energy over here of someone very solid and firm who could own their own business. So, you know, maybe you hire, maybe you have some trees that you need to take down in your yard and you're like, you know what? I think I'll hire this tree service and they may be kind of calm, peaceful, uh, quiet, maybe kind of quiet, but you see them. And you're like, hmm, <laughs> hmm, you know. <laughs> okay, so let's see what kind of connection this will be. What kind of connection will this be for cancer? Wow. What kind of connection will this be for cancer spirit, please? My jewelry is like banging on the table. Sorry about that. Way too many, but we'll take this one. Recovery. Wow. And you see like the same kind of energy here. Hmm. So recovery. Hmm. So it could be that, you know, maybe they're recovering from something. Uh, you know, maybe they own the company and, you know, maybe they've done a lot of manual work. Maybe they injured themselves or something like that. And they come to your property, but they're not really like helping or working. They're just kind of like overseeing the whole thing and you just kind of see them, you know, off to the side, not really overseeing, but not really working. Um, but this is for the, what type of connection will it be? So it may be a very calm, peaceful kind of, cause you see this woman kind of meditating. Maybe it's just a very calm, peaceful, tranquil, healing kind of connection for the both of you getting like very calm and peaceful kind of energy hmm, that's kind of nice all right so 
Let's see what your advice, your advice is for this connection. Got a little bug flying around me. All right, let's see what your advice is for this connection, Cancer. What is your advice for this possible connection coming towards you? Cancer, what is Cancer's advice for it, please? Thank you so much. Wow, I'll take that one. So, kick up your heels. <laughs> and I was just saying that maybe a very calm, peaceful, tranquil, healing kind of connection. And you see the blue here, which represents the heart chakra. So, you know, and good luck here with the rainbow like wishes and dreams, like a very magical connection. And uh, I don't know, maybe you like to kick up your heels or the energies could be reversed. So if they're very calm and quiet, you may be like, hey, let's go. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. So, uh, and you may be, may you may have to be the one to initiate this if you feel attracted to them and you're interested in them. They may be kind of quiet and reserved. You may have to actually approach them and like kick up your heels kind of energy. You may have to initiate, initiate contact. <laughs> okay, so let's get some tarot on this Cancer. Let's get some tarot. All right, what do we have for Cancer in this possible connection? So I'm really getting that, I'm, I keep getting in my head, you will have to make the first move. You will have to make the first move. They may like you, be attracted to you, but they may not um, take action on that. Nine of Wands energy here. There's the fire energy. So this is, uh, you know, pers persevering on, fighting on. Um, so that's like the wounded warrior kind of energy. So I don't know why that's here. Again, with the recu recovery and the re rest and rejuvenate, it could be that maybe they have just been through something and they're not really interested at this time, like for something new. But you see them and you're like, you know, I really want to, you know, approach them or get to know them. And you may want to just fight for the connection or fight to uh, get to know them or see them or something like that. So, yeah, you may have to... Uh, approach them. I don't think they will. They may be not even like looking. The emperor. Yeah. And I just said that taking charge, taking the lead, the emperor energy here. It's fire. So we got a lot of fire here, which is fire there, Leo Sag Aries. And the emperor is Aries. So yeah, I think you may have to take the lead, take charge, take control and approach them. All right. So what else? What else? Do we have the Ten of Swords? Yeah, and I had just said that I feel like maybe they have just been through something here. Ten of Swords is a painful ending here. So they might have been through something and they're still recovering and rejuvenating from that painful ending. And they may not even be like looking for anything right now. All right, so what else do we have for Cancer? Well, the ten of, two of swords now. So being kind of indecisive. So they may be, you may approach them and they, I think they may be indecisive. They may be the ones that may be indecisive about this. You're like, gee, I don't know. Two of swords is kind of like, can't make up your mind. You can't make a decision. Being indecisive. Not really making the, the decision. The tower, wow, yeah. <laughs> they had some kind of crumbling down here. Breakdown, shake up something here the tower aries again so we have aries twice here some of you could be an aries so yeah i think they've been through some kind of explosive break break up breakdown or something here with the 10 and the tower 10 of swords wow okay so what else what else King of Wands, so getting a lot of fire energy. So that's that Leo Sag Aries. Uh, 
somebody who can be an entrepreneur, who can uh, own their own business or something like that. So I'm getting this could be, especially the Four of Pentacles here, could be someone who owns their own business, like landscaping, uh, tree service, something like that. All right, so what else? The Five of Cups, yeah. Lonely, lost, uh, sad here. So yeah, they're sad. They could be still sad over some kind of painful ending they've just been through. Wow. But they're fighting on. I mean, they keep persevering on here with the Nine of Wands. Oh, wow. That's a lot of energy here. What else? The Page of Swords. So this is uh, communication. Maybe you found their business online because this can be about uh, finding, researching things online. So maybe you went online to look for a uh, landscaping business, a tree service or something like that. Page of Swords, that's how you found them. Online, doing that research online, looking for a company. All right, so what else? What else? Wow, so now we have the Empress. We have the Emperor and the Empress. So this definitely could be a soulmate, divine counterparts here, a soulmate connection here. If they can get over their past, if you approach them and they decide to, hey, just meet for coffee, whatever, just chit chat, get to know one another. Divine counterparts here with the Empress and the Emperor and the Empress. Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, I definitely feel like here could be you and them, both stable, secure, grounded, well balanced. Um, you have everything you need on your, being very independent on your own. So it could be their energy and your energy. It's a very single energy here, but very uh, independent, financially set. What else? So what else will come of this? What else will come of this? The devil. So toxic energy here. So they could have gotten over something very toxic here with the devil energy. The Ten of Swords, the Tower. Wow. It's a lot of energy here. I think they went through the devil energy there. A very toxic thing here. But King of Pentacles, again, someone being a business owner, smart, analytical, uh, great with their finances, being very uh, stable, secure, and making the money and they don't have to worry. So they got the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles. So I think they're a very smart, savvy business owner. The world. So yeah, closing out cycles, starting new cycles. Kind of energy here. So are they ready to close out that cycle and start a new cycle with you if you decide to approach them, start something new? Seven of Swords. Uh, this is kind of like a deceitful, sneaky kind of energy, like getting away and uh, not being honest. Oh boy, so why is that here? Now we got the King and Queen of Pentacles. Wow. They may run from this because they may be still trying to get over something here. And you may, you know, just chit chat with them while they're on your property or you're out shopping, whatever here. You may kick it off. You may have a nice conversation and maybe you start to flirt with them. Maybe they start to flirt back, but I feel like then they're going to get scared and they may run here with the seven of swords kind of energy. But we got the emperor and the empress and the king and queen of pentacles. So heavy soulmate energy here, divine counterpart energy. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Well, we got the Ace of Pentacles here. So this is a brand new beginning. Very stable, grounded, secure. Begin, uh, new beginning here. And it's usually long term. Building on a firm foundation for the long term energy here. So they may just be scared with the Seven of Swords. And they may try to like back away from you or say, I don't know, I don't know. But, you know, they may give in. They may give in and decide to, hey, let's meet for coffee. Let's, you know, whatever here. Get to know one another. So what else? Seven of Pentacles. So this is an energy of waiting. Um, investing, but waiting. You know, assessing the situation. Just patiently waiting. So pentacles are very, very slow energy. So 
if you want to invest in this person or invest in each other, I think it's going to be a very, very slow, slow process here. Baby steps. Baby steps. So now we got the Seven of Cups at the bottom. So confusion, illusions, daydreamy kind of energy. But moving forward here with a lot of passion, drive, ambition, passionate energy, healing energy with the star, divinely guided, and king, queen of pentacles, emperor, empress, divinely guided energy here, faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true kind of energy, healing energy. And then we have the soulmate energy again with the six of cups. So this definitely is a four of swords. So healing, recuperating, resting, rejuvenating. So they still may be as it's the same energy here, resting and recuper recuperating over something they've just been through, but you probably could help to heal them and to move forward, to close out that cycle, start a new cycle if they choose to um, do that. But you may have to initiate this. You may have to work with them very slowly, build very slowly, invest in very slowly baby steps moving forward. But I do see life possible life partner here with the ace of pentacles and divine counterparts with all this energy here all right cancer uh this was your reading and i hope you enjoyed it if you like my style please do like share subscribe and comment i love to read the comments hit the bell you'll be notified when i post new readings I do four readings a month you'll get a singles reading like this you'll get a love connection reading for someone you have a connection with You'll get a general tarot forecast, a general reading for the month, and messages from your spirit guides, what you need to know at this time. So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe and hit the bell and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. And best of luck to you here and sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.